Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Cobra Detailer Build. On this episode, I've actually received my oil pump pickup for the Gen 3 Coyote. So I can get this pan bolted up that's beautiful and white now. So follow along today as we'll get this pickup. We're going to flip this motor upside down, we'll get the rest of the oil drained out. It says it's drained from the factory, but we're going to at least pop the drain and make sure we get it all out. Then we'll rotate it 180 and uh, we'll get this pickup and pan installed. So follow along. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and uh, thank you. Okay, so we've got our Gen 3 Coyote here. Um, I'm going to start, hopefully you guys can see this. There's a drain plug back into here. I don't know how this drain plug even works, to be honest with you. It's a yellow. Let me uh, get you down in there and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So we got this yellow drain plug here. Um, I'm going to get a little pan underneath that and we're going to at least uh, pop the oil out of that. It's See, hopefully there's not much in here. And then we'll uh, rotate this motor 180 and uh, start pulling the pan off. So, as I said, this oil pan is, serves no purpose to me. Um, so, my question is, if anybody out there needs an oil pan off of a uh, Gen 3 Coyote, love to hear from you. Because uh, I'll send this thing to you. You pay the shipping and this oil pan is yours. Because this does me zero good. Uh, oil's draining. Not much, probably, I don't know, a third of a quart, quarter of a quart, not a whole lot. Looks like it's about done. So once we get this drained, we will flip this thing over and start pulling the pan. Okay, so the motor's flipped over. It actually spun on the uh, engine stand pretty easy. I was kind of worried it was going to be really top heavy and then kind of want to just rotate around really fast. But it's actually pretty well balanced. Uh, no issues. Um, boy. I would hate to buy a brand new Mustang at 50 grand and have a plastic oil pan. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, well, I guess that's the way it is. But uh, that oil pan, as you can see, is all painted up now looking nice. Uh, much nicer. It is definitely heavier. This thing probably weighs near nothing from what I can tell. Uh, but yeah, we'll, so we'll go ahead and get these bolts off and see what we've got underneath here. I've never actually cracked open a modern modular 5.0 Coyote motor. So we'll get all these bolts off, see what we got hidden away. Okay, now we gotta crack those three and this pan's ready to come off. Doesn't get much simpler than that. Okay, this should come off. Well, there we go. We got ourselves an oil pan off. So is everybody catching all this? I'm gonna try. Ooh. Oh wow, the pickup comes off with the pan, really? Okay, so you now are looking inside of a 5.0 Coyote Gen 3 motor. Um, yeah, looks pretty impressive. So this has got the, uh, see the uh, rods? Those aren't the uh, powdered, forged, whatever they call that, centered powder rod. Um, these are actually the H-beam. Uh, yeah, so you got six main bolts, two here, one splayed on the side, or whatever they call that side bolt. It's a pretty stout low rim. They say they say these motors will take seven, eight hundred horsepower all day long with no issues. Um, my big issue is this oil pan gasket is not going to work on that. So it's like, do I just permatex this whole thing? I don't know. So that's one thing I'm going to have to look into because I'm not sure where to go from here. Wow, so looking inside the motor, I don't know if you guys can see down inside of there, I got a flashlight. This has actually got piston squirters to shoot the pistons with oil. I thought they did away with that with the early Gen 1s. I didn't know these Gen 3s had that, but you can see that's actually a good view right there. So you see the uh, the tube coming out there that shoots the oil up onto the piston? I did not know. Um, quite bizarre. I, I just, poof, did not know. Yeah, so you can see all the markings. This thing is uh, hand built. Uh, as I said, this is the Illuminator. This is the high end Gen 3. Um, so now I just got to figure out about this oil pan issue because this gasket, this sideways mounted, uh, is not going to work. So I may have to order a gasket real fast. So here's the oil pan. Uh, it's not bolted up or anything, just sitting on here because I got to figure out the gasket situation. 
also have a situation with this windage tray, which this thing almost looks like it's molded in to the pan. I mean, it's, it's, it's part of the oil pan. Really freaking bizarre. And even the pickup here is kind of molded in. This thing is just wild. I guess this is new technology. I don't know, but yeah, not a fan. So uh, let me do some research. I got to figure I got to order maybe a windage tray and a uh, pan gasket. So more to come. Okay, everybody. So we're back trying to get this pan buttoned up on the motor. So my uh, screw up here, here is the, Here's the gasket that we needed. So just so you know the part number, it's uh, BR3Z6710A. Uh, this is a special gasket. Uh, my apologies for that. Um, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I jump into things um, and I jumped up into this you know, oil pan and without doing the full research because I just wanted to get the oil pan on and then once you get the oil pan off, you go, this is not right. If I would have researched, I'd have had that oil pan gasket ordered a long time ago. Uh, that's just the way things go with me. As I said, I jump into things and then deal with consequences as it comes. Apologize for that. Uh, but it's just kind of the way I roll. So unless I'm at work and then I'm a pretty good project planner, but at home, I just want to get into this thing and just get it going. So I'm going to pull this pan off. I just had it sitting up here temporarily. Um, so we'll pull this thing back off and we're going to go through the process of getting this pan on here the right way, bolted down once and for all. So follow along. Pan is now off. I have a rag stuffed into the uh, oil pickup just so I didn't drop anything down in there. But we'll give another quick look into this motor. So uh, as I say, I think these are um, manly rods. I'm not even sure the brand. Uh, but they've got, you know, special rods, H-beam rods. You can see the whole, whole motor's been all balanced uh, from Ford. Um, ARP rod bolts. And then you've got the special, you know, cut molly pistons, I'm sure. But I, think, I think the rods are actually manlies. You can go onto Ford's website and uh, they'll spec out the motor and tell exactly what's in the illuminator. But I do know that the, the rods themselves have been upgraded, ARP rod bolts. And then the pistons. Uh, as I said, if you look down inside, you can see, uh, let me get a flashlight here. You can see this motor does come with piston squirters. Uh, if you see down inside there, which was kind of a shock to me, I thought they got away with that in Gen 1, but I guess not. Um, yeah, other than that, it's, uh, it's pretty sweet in here. Should be able to take some serious punishment. And I intend to punish it. Uh, I'm gonna drive this thing like a rented mule. So I'm gonna scrape off some of this, um, very carefully so I don't drop this down in the motor. And we'll, that one go to the side, which is fine. That was some acetone. Said first stop, clean everything up, and then we'll start getting this, uh, Okay, so this is all wiped down with acetone, so I got a nice clean surface. As I said, you got just a hair of stuff there. We'll put just a touch of gasket material on that. This actually, this kit here came with the pickup. So this bolt, this bolt here is gonna go into here for our pickup. And the pickup's gonna push into here, comes across, we'll have to get the whole gasket in first. We're also gonna make sure that the pickup clears the oil pan, because I've heard issues with that in the past. So we're gonna crack this one here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Damn, that's a long bolt for a, a main. So I'll kind of compare these up. Looks good. Um, so the main cap bolt here gets torqued to 48 feet pounds plus 90 degrees. So I'm gonna back this off a little bit. Okay, so 
So we're going to up this. I'll go to 40. Okay, now I'm going to go to 48. Okay, so now we have to go 90 degrees. So a few ways you can accomplish this. Uh, they actually sell gauges for this, but what I do is I'm going to start this off to where this, I uh, hopefully you can see this. So you can see right now, it's basically perpendicular to the side of the block. I'm going to crank this handle all the way over until it's now this way. That's my 90 degrees. Hopefully it doesn't take too much effort. We'll see. So you can see I went from here to there, 90 degrees. You know, I'm not a fan of these bolts. Uh, I'd much rather have a torque spec on it, but this is what they go with. So eh, it is what it is. Our standoff is going to go up into here like such. This gets torqued to 20 feet pounds, so not a lot, but I am gonna put some uh, Loctite on this because I don't want this thing coming off even though I don't think it would. Um, I gotta find the right socket. This really lightly to 20. Okay, easy enough. Here, this rubber lip needs to come out of here, okay? So you can see that, gone, take it out. Boy, I do like this one here better. There's a lot of ceiling surface on this. This is gonna go on the bottom of the pickup into the groove here. So we're gonna very gently, don't wanna cut this or cause any issues. Okay, and this is gonna go up into here like such fit this thing before we throw that pan gasket on and throw some adhesive on there. Okay. okay. Trying to keep everything clean here because uh, you don't definitely don't want to screw this up. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I don't know why they uh, want that thing drilled out because I'm not going to touch it because that fits in there. I mean, that, that's perfect. So, Don't want to drop that bolt down in there. We're in a world of hurt. Okay. Handy dandy gasket. I'm thinking it's got to go this way. Wow, that is gonna be tight right in there. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so this is kind of the way the gasket is gonna lay on here. Um, I, I'm looking at this going, damn, that is gonna be really, really tight. But I guess it does, it angles up. Yeah, once I push that down in there, it's gonna, it's gonna make it. Wow. Okay. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit of adhesive on these corners just like that Ford had. Just a dab in there. There we go. That is perfect. Look at that, just barely clears. 
I mean, we've got, oh, 30 seconds of an inch. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's about a 30 second of an inch of where the windage tray goes and where the pickup goes. So yeah, looking pretty good. So at this point, I think we're pretty good. So they want this bolt into here, torqued to 20 feet pounds also, and I'm also gonna throw some Loctite on that one. Yeah, maybe I go a little crazy with the Loctite on everything, but you know what? I don't want anything coming apart. I'd rather fight like hell to get it apart than to have it come apart. So. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm looking around for anything I see in there, any grit, any dirt. <clears throat> you know what, I'm gonna blow this thing out with some compressed air just to make sure. Okay, so I blew the pan out. It's all nice and clean in here. Um, make sure I wiped it all out. So now I just want to make sure this thing kind of fits on here. Hopefully you can see this. Nice and flat. This gasket's got, you know, ridges here. I want to make sure that's sitting in the pan. Looks pretty darn good right there. So, uh, so another thing I want to do, I want to make sure this dipstick goes in and out. Hopefully you can see that. Perfect, dipstick, no problems. The bolts that came with the Coyote on that pan don't work in here, by the way. So I went to the hardware store and just bought some, um, I think they were six millimeter by 20 long. Uh, flange head stainless steel, aren't they pretty? Oh, by the way, I've got the uh, temp sensor in the front here. I'm gonna move this to one of the bottoms. I just, that's the only way I could get off when I was fitting this. This is gonna go into one of the sides, so don't think this is gonna stay there, it's not. So it's just there because that's kind of what I did when I was kind of putting a pan on, um, when I was kind of putting it all together to mock it up. So I won't show you all this, and then we'll torque these down, and I forget what these get torqued down to. I'll look at the book and uh, get back to you. Well, thanks again for watching another episode. Uh, the beautiful oil pan is now bolted up to the illuminator. So I'll flip this thing back over. Um, but yeah, this thing's ready to go. So I've got some other few little things we have to do. Motor mounts are now done. I don't know if I've uploaded that video yet either, but we'll see. I have even got the ground strap on, which is kind of into the header bolt, just to keep it out of the way. But uh, this thing's coming along. So thanks again for watching. Uh, appreciate it. If you like this video, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.